Uh, I am here with another science magic experiment from the Children's Museum of New Hampshire. My name is Meredith and this is a really fun and kind of unique vinegar and baking soda experiment. Usually when we do vinegar and baking soda experiments we have baking soda down, we drop vinegar, we watch it fizz and bubble and foam and it's all very fun. Um, this experiment is similar but it's a little more fun because we're actually making things move. Um, so this is called a dancing popcorn experiment and you can do this with um, some very simple things that you can find at home. So the first thing you want to do is find some kind of clear jar or plastic cup or plastic container. Just make sure it has a little bit of height to it and you want to fill it roughly halfway just with water. Then the next thing you want to find is, this is uh, white vinegar. You want to find a little bit of white vinegar. You want to find some baking soda. And the last thing you want is some unpopped popcorn kernels. So here's what we're gonna do. We would invite young scientists to come over and say, today we're going to make some popcorn that can dance using science. So what I would invite them to do first is Take a spoon and put a few woo, spoonfuls of baking soda in your jar or container. And you're going to stir that until it's dissolved and it will get kind of cloudy like this. Then you're going to add your popcorn. You can do this using your spoon or you can just pour it in. You don't need all that much. And say to your young scientist, oh, is it, um, is it dancing yet? No, it's not dancing. You can see it on the bottom there. Nope, it's just sitting there. It's not dancing yet. So what's the other thing we have that we could add? The vinegar. So they may know that vinegar and baking soda does something cool. It's going to do something a little different with this one. So you want to very slowly add your vinegar. Very slowly and carefully add this to your solution. Because it does start to fizz. Ah, okay, this is why you want a little bit of height on your container. So as you add it and it starts to fizz, we will notice that our popcorn is starting to dance. So I'm gonna add that. Ah, and we can see it already going up and down and dancing in our container. So, that's so cool. So the science behind this is that when we combine vinegar and baking soda, we are making a chemical reaction. That's what it means when something fizzes and bubbles and foams. And we are making carbon dioxide, which is one of the things that we breathe. And you can actually see the carbon dioxide at work. So we notice when, you'll be able to see this in your own experiment, it's kind of hard to see right now. But when our popcorn is down at the bottom, it gets covered in all these little bubbles. And once it has enough bubbles, it floats up to the top where some of the bubbles pop and then it floats back down to the bottom, which is that up and down motion that makes it look like it's dancing. So the little bubbles that get on the popcorn are actually bubbles of carbon dioxide. And that's what we're watching go up and down and make them dance. When they pop at the top, the popcorn doesn't have that little bit of um, help to help it float up to the top so it goes back down to the bottom. So this is a really fun one. Um, it's easy to do with things you have. And what's fun, extra fun, is that it'll keep dancing for like 20 minutes. You can keep adding baking soda and keep adding vinegar and keep it dancing for quite some time before it gets tired. So enjoy this po dancing popcorn science magic project and I will see you again soon. Have fun!